All right, and we are live with Michael Gulbicki of Rusted Root here with Dirk Miller, also um, a former tech and then touring band member of said band. Welcome to both of you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled to have you in the studio today. Um, it's been a great day of music so far, and uh, I'm going to give Patty another shout-out here for helping make it happen. Um, hey. Off-camera, Patty DeVries in the house. Um, thank you guys for being here in advance of your show tonight at Eddie's Attic, um, which I'm sure is going to be great. Um, I will see you there uh, after a while. Cool. Um, it's really cool. Uh, this is not the first time we've had the two of you in as the duo version of um, like you've kind of been bouncing back and forth this year between touring with Dirk as a duo and also doing the uprooted thing, which we can talk about more as we get going. Um, but I'm really happy to have the both of you here. So what are we going to hear first? Well, this is, um, this is a song called Tumbleweed and it's probably going to be our second single coming out in March. So you can keep an eye out for it. to step out of the light You're staying clean like the killing machine that you are With all your exceptions to the rules You've been loose and sleep Are dancing with all your sheep But you're my tumbleweed My tumbleweed I don't mind all the time Lord knows I was the first To sleep around out on the road But it's just when your riddles Tend to lies Lies I will forever put you out of my out of my, out of my mind Oh baby, I know you didn't mean it was just a beat down It was just a beat down, I know it Oh baby, I know you didn't mean it was just a beat down Still got the luck You're staying clean Like the killing machine That you are With all your exceptions To the rules Don't you lose control This way and that, and it's got no Yeah, my tumble weed, my tumble way. Oh, 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 my. oh, 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 o
you love It was just a beat down. It was just a beat down. I know it. Oh, baby, I know you didn't mean it was just a beat down. Yeah. Thank you. Man. So good. <laughs> I got lost in that one. If you're gonna, are you gonna do that to me three more times? I can't wait, man. That is that's powerhouse. Um, you guys both sound fantastic together. The chemistry is on point, and I love uh, this this version of, of 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 a configuration here. I think it's great, um, and I know that this allows you to kind of dig into some of the songs. Sometimes there's a little bit of improvisation that happens. Like I don't know if. The musical break that we just heard, uh, the instrumental break was exactly as tracked. It may have been longer or shorter. Who knows, right? I think that's really cool. Um, uh, I, I certainly think it's cool for you guys to have a form to get lost in your music uh, as much as your audience. So appreciation on both sides of that. Thank um, you. Yeah. So you've been out on the road for how much of this year, <laughs> percentage-wise? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's usually about half. Okay. Okay. And kind of back and forth between duo and, and uprooted. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're working on a new record, and the new record's sort of more full band, but then with a little bit of this duo context in it. Cool. So it's cool to go back and forth and kind of learn from different things, different formats. Right on. Music. Right on. Um, Patty asked me to uh, put you on the spot. When do you kind of expect us to kind of hear some of that new music uh, in, in record form? Well, our first single is... Uh, Man, not machine, uh, and, and then in parentheses, it's 1988, and it's uh, this next song actually. So we're gonna probably release it, Dirk. It's up to Dirk. Okay. Next week. Next week. All right. How about right now? <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna release it in in uh, late January. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And then in March, we're gonna release Tumbleweeds. So. Okay. Great. Yeah, that's a great track, and I'm and I'm sure this one will be the same. I can't wait to hear it. Man, I 
my darling, what's a kill, mama? On the wings of falling, baby, running, baby, run. Nothing to do but mother. Nothing to do but mother. Yeah, I think I do know what you mean. Yeah, very cool. So um, <clears throat> this new record, uh, how did how did you kind of land into the batch of songs that has become what will become uh, said record uh, in 2020? Do you record some of that on the road? Do you ride on the road? Like, can you give us a succinct window into the process uh, that, that leads you into a finished song? I know that's a loaded question. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I mean, um, you can you can chop it down as much as you want. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I look for, like, prime real estate, you know, and it's either, like, in the lyrics or it's, or it's the musical landscape is very different and unique or, like, a unique footprint to me. And um, I look for those kind of things because I'm not good at sounding like anybody else. Like, I can't go down to, and sing karaoke. I can't. I'm not that kind of guy, you know. Sure. Like, I just I have to find things that are – seriously me like not just making it mine like it has to be mine from the start because I'm, I'm not that good at that other thing that people are really good at and I admire and everything but I, I can't do it so I look for ideas that are either like I said lyrically just inventive or uh, really heals me inside and I, and I feel like I want to you know find out how it heals other people um, sometimes it's a, it's a music it's a hook it's it's an idea as far as arrangement or something like that. So I just look for these things and I just keep them on the wall like little post-it notes. And yeah. then, then when the time comes, it's like, okay, this all makes sense now. Strong points that uh, like become inspiration to to kind of take it the rest of the way, right? Like, yeah, yeah, and that's scary because especially today, I think everybody wants to know what it is before they do it. Sure, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't no, know. If, I... I don't know if social media has something to do with that or technology. It's like everybody's designing things now with their mind in mind, you know, and it's like, I can do this. I can do that. Cause look at the technology or, you know, this, this advantage here or that advantage. And for me, I just try to, I try to not do that. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, people like it cause everybody's changing and the whole world's changing. And <laughs> I kind of feel like it's a, it's a big if, like if people are going to understand it or, or not, I don't know. Right. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, and, uh, the way people record now and how a studio is utilized has, right. has, has even changed. Like there's no more of the, the like the Brian, you know, like the studio is a musical instrument right now. It's the, the home studio is the musical instrument. And when you go to an actual studio, quote, quote, uh, you've, you've, you've got this plan. Or if that's where you start, you've got this plan because I think, yeah, the, the image and identity is, is, has to go. Well, you have to like have this pack. You have to package yourself, which makes you put yourself into a box. Right. And, exactly, uh, yeah. and yeah, you can only be in your own box. Um, yeah. but, why not? Uh, why not keep it open? Yeah, and and for me, it's it's a limitation too. Like I said, like I can't do the other thing at all. I look really dumb doing it. So it's really it's a real easy choice for me to stay kind of like completely original. Cool. Well, I think limitations are good, and uh, I, I I consider it uh, uh, a great a great bit of guidance. Right. I suppose I don't know. I love what you're doing, um, awesome. and this this is fantastic. Cool. And uh, yeah, uh, I was. Uh, I was a fan of the of, uh, your my first impressions back in the day in the in the mid nineties, um, and uh, I can't wait to hear a throwback track here at the end. But we have another new one up next, and I'd love to hear about it. Oh yeah, this is uh, Man Not Mach- uh, No. This is uh, it's called Stage Fright, and it's still a work in progress. So we're we're not near the end on this one, but it's cool to play it for you anyhow. Such 
a man, such a man never fooled. The breaking of the broken rules. Such a man, three falls off the edge of time. Such a man, such a man knows the way. Take us home tonight ooh, 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 stage fright I'll be on my way in the light ooh, 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 stage fright I'll be on my way Wowza. <laughs> cool. That was good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all been good, but we were, I don't know if you noticed me rocking out out of time back here because I'm, I'm rocking out to the internet version. So I'm like, I'm like, 
about a, a second and a third ahead or behind rather. Um, it looks creative. like I have zero timing whatsoever, but I promise you that's not the case. Um, that was awesome. Those breakdowns and stuff. Uh, yeah, man, that was that was seriously cool. Yeah, it's, During, really, I don't it's mean really just starting to come into itself, that song, I think. It's, and it was really last night in Charleston. We just nailed it. Cool. And so... Uh, so you do should, ride on the road. Yeah, we should, <laughs> we should record it because I think we forgot what happened. But anyhow, it's going to slowly get back to that. Well, we now have time. a reference of this. Yeah. And that was killer, man. And, and Dirk, I don't mean to... We were just talking about uh, being authentic and not being able to be someone else, but there was some serious Steve Howe vibes happening on that, and I was just like, oh, blown away, <laughs> man. Yeah, that was badass, <laughs> fully. Um, yeah, so um, what a cool place to be um, over the last... You've been doing this now for 25 years, which is in, which is crazy. Um, I, I could... 30. 30 years. Okay. I'm thinking of, oh yeah, I guess I'm, I'm dating it from the major label debut, right. but, um, yeah. And then I 30 started years. three years before that, I dropped out of college and started writing and that, that was like the, uh, the working phase of like trying to find the vision and the music and learning how to song write and stuff. And right. So it was, it was that was a crazy time. That was like six years. I, I count that as six years. Okay. <laughs> so a while now. Without while, dating yeah. any of us too heavily, but yeah, uh, I I love that. Uh, I can tell just by watching you guys play, like this is uh, as fun and probably meaningful uh, for you now as it was back then. And uh, keep it going. And I hope well, we I get think to do even, this. Like for me, it's even more so because back then it was like all sort of anxiety, <laughs> you know, just a lot of anxiety. So I didn't really like even like remember a lot of it because tensions were so high and stress levels were so high. Um, but for right now, I'm just like, I feel like this is, this is what I've been working that whole time for is to just feel comfortable and be able to play whatever we want and it works out. So it's really very simple, you know? <laughs> well, I'm glad that's been the path and that, and then that, that you have this time to focus on the energy, uh, within yourself and with the songs and everything else. Cause I, Thanks, I'm man. certainly feeling it right now. Um, couldn't be happier. What are we going to... So we got a classic track. What are we going to hear to close this out here? Um, well, you wanted to hear Ecstasy. I did, kind of, yeah. You're acting like you don't really know, but... Oh, I mean, I did. I didn't know if you it were, changed. You were hoping. I it guess. may have changed, yeah. and that's also okay. But are we no, going to do is, it? Uh, this is Ecstasy, yeah. All right.
arms waste the light Wrapped around this machine Military machine Military machine Thank you. Thank you for that. Wow. That was absolutely killer. <laughs> Man. All right. Well, I'm going to go see some more of this uh, with Patty. We're going to head to Eddie's later. So um, I'm going to have to get my composure in the meantime. Um, you guys, that was killer. Thank you. Like, thank you so much for being here and hanging out. It's been such a cool hang. Uh, yeah. More of the same. We'll do this again. All right. Awesome, man. Thanks all for right. having us. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you both.